Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, so my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party, and the canvas is blank. Why is it blank? <laughs> because it's How To Tuesday. So, say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me tonight, let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. Uh, How To Tuesdays, our practice session, right? We learn stuff, we practice, we get all of our stuffs together. Um, doesn't matter what you're painting on, right? Doesn't matter what you're doing or what you're using. It's just um, a time for us to connect as a family and make your paintings that much better. So, let me uh, give props to you know who, right? We got to give props to you know who and then say hello, hello, hello so we can do our roll call. And uh, tonight is uh, abstract. So, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm self taught. These are my opinions. And what I've learned uh, over the years, and I googled some definitions, <laughs> and I'm going to show you some of my abstract works, and then we're going to play on the canvas for a little bit. So if this sounds something that you'd be really into, stick around, because that's what we're doing. All right, let's give props to you know who, who, if I can figure out how to turn the camera around. Um, there it is. Found the button. There he is. And he's looking. <laughs> it's not that kind of show, Butters. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody. So let me get my roll call here. We got Diane hanging out with me tonight. Hello, 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 Diane. How are you doing, sweetheart? So we got Diane and we got Darlene. Uh, why isn't this scrolling? All right, there we go. So we have Darlene. And Kelly is here. Hello, 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 Kelly. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Tina is here, and she's back on her account, able to comment, so that's cool stuff. And we've got uh, Amanda hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Amanda. How are you? And Savannah. Hello, 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 Savannah. How are you, sweetheart? And uh, you found it. You found it, Rochelle Waldron Rod. <laughs> you found it, Savannah. Welcome to the fam. <laughs> you found it all right. <laughs> oh, Lisa V is hanging out with us tonight. Hi, Lisa V. And Florence is hanging out with us tonight. Hi, Florence. How are you? Rochelle is here. Hello, 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 Rochelle. How are you doing, my lovey? All right, let's see who else we got. I got to get a a higher stool. <laughs> Lori is here. Hello, 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 Lori. How are you doing, my doll? Marsha's hanging out with us. Hello, 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 Marsha. How are you, sweetheart? Okay, let's see. I got Kelly. Diane is here. 92 degrees in Washington State. Oof, that's a, that's hot. Joanne Joanne's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Joanne. How are you doing? Joan's here. All right, make way. Joan's here. Carolyn is here. Hello, 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 Carolyn. Hello, doll. How are you doing, sweetie? And uh, let's see. Susan hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Susan. Hello, 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 Tammy. How are you doing, doll? And let's see. I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay. Whoo! Judy, <laughs> everybody give a warm Eve's Creations family welcome to Judy. <laughs> uh, you're doing good. I'm doing well. W Mac, what are you doing here, baby? Haven't seen you in a good minute. Hello, doll. Hi, sweetheart. And Kimberly is hanging out with us. I think I'm to the end of the list. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Woo! This might get to a point where that is not possible. <laughs> There's Joanne. <laughs> we have another Joanne. Okay. Woo! All right. <clears throat> Woo! What a roll call. I think I'm on. You are on, Teresa. You are on. You are on and you are front and center. Yeah. Wow. I, um... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Um, life is always crazy, right, W Mac? Those of you following my makeup adventure, I went for like a sunset. I was going for like a sunset look with like corals and and like I don't know what you call those colors, but I want. I was looking. I wanted to look like a sunset. Anyway, so let me. Um, hello, 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 Lori. Lori coming in, making an entrance with the stars. How you doing, sweetheart? All right, I got you already, Lori. All right, handy dandy table. Whew! 
any dandy table. We got our coffee. I got a whole bu bunch of brushes. I'll show you what I'm using when I'm using it. And we have our paint. Same paint I use every single video. Black, blue, yellow, red, and white. Okay, and um, we're going to say hi to Mr. Butters because he's uh, done being a uh, naughty boy. Now he's now he's itching. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, I got to scratch, mamas. <laughs> ambiance thanks darling all right so i um i googled some stuff and then i had to stop googling got your tea awesome uh becky is here hello 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 becky um there's another is there two beckys there might be two beckys hello um so i googled all right and i'm gonna hold you in my hand because i have things i want to show you Teresa. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. You're from Panama? Oh, no way. Hi. <laughs> International, baby. Pamela's saying hi. Hi, Pamela. So, um, I want to hold you in my hand because I want to show you some things first before we get to painting. Um, I googled. <laughs> but then I had to stop googling because then it, it was just getting nutty. And, you know... There's only so much information that you could take in and then you're over it, right? So, let me, um, abstract, right? I, whew, that <laughs> roll call threw me off. Um, so, we're learning about abstract, right? So, I googled the definition of abstract. Now, I'm one of those people, I am a, um, actually, let me put you down. I'll take you out of the holder when I need to. Okay, so, um. Because then we can get paint on here because we're going to have to do certain little layers. All right, I'll get my act together eventually of what I want to do. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's um, abstract, right? So abstract, abstract is straight from, yeah, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of an abstract snob. I am like an abstract purist. I call myself because what happens is, is that, um, you had to clean your tray out. You forgot to wash it. Oh, well, at least the acrylic peels off. Um, I think my personal opinion is if it, it starts to get to the point of where it's depicting an object, like, and you can tell that that's an object, like that's a person or that's a building or I don't think it's abstract. That's my personal opinion. Now, they say abstract, da da da, portrayal of things visit from the visible world plays little or no part, consists of abstract elements. Don't you just love it when they put the word you're looking up into the definition? Isn't that just glorious? <laughs> Oh, by the way, all my uh, videos are kid-friendly, so I'm going to watch this thing. You guys watch your comments. But, um, like, don't you just love that, right? So I'm looking up abstract, and it says, Portrayal of things from the visible world plays little or no part. Okay, got that. And then the next part says, Consists of abstract element. I'm looking up the word abstract. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I already knew a definition. I just wanted to give you guys a, like, formal definition. Um, so, abstract elements, though. Abstract elements. All right, those I looked up because, obviously, I had to dig a little further because they're using the word I'm looking up. Okay, so, abstract elements. You guys ready? And I'm going to show you examples of all of this. All right, so, shape. All right, shape is an area surrounded by edges. Okay, form Form, hi Brenda, hi, hi. Form is a 3D object, okay? So when you're getting into form, I gotta write Brenda down. When you're getting into form, that's when you've got 3D objects, you know, cones and, and um, uh, cubes and stuff like that. So that's when you're getting into form is when you're doing like a, an object that has height, width, and um, length, has all three, not just height and width, like shape. Okay, color, color is the light reflected back to your eye. I always love that um, definition because obviously that's how we see colors, right? It's uh, the light reflecting those certain things back to our eyeballs. I just always love that definition. Obviously, you guys know color is colors. Blue, red, yellow, whatever, colors. And um, 
then there's Line. Line is really cool. Uh, line is a path, right? An identif identifiable <laughs> path. What does that mean? It means it's going in a certain direction. You can see where it's going. It's pulling you in a certain direction. It could be an actual line um, that's going to draw you into that direction. It could be a formation of things drawing you into that direction. But line is... <clears throat> Hi, Jill. Hello, 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 Jill. We didn't get to Flicky Doos yet. I'm still just jawing away here. Um, all right, so... Then the uh, next one is a gestural mark. So when I make gestures, like a court jester, right? Like when I'm making gestures like this, and I'm just doing boof, 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 like on the canvas in all different directions, that's called a gestural, G-E-S-T-U-R-A-L mark. And basically you're just smacking, splashing, uh, dabbing, like all that kind of stuff. All right, then you have tone. Thanks, I, I got rid of the wisdom hairs. Thank you for noticing, Jill. Um, so then you get into tone. And tone is uh, light and dark of colors, right? And tone, like I like to add in mood with tone. Mood, mood. <laughs> Every time I say mood or moon, I sound like a cow. Moon, <laughs> mood. <laughs> I don't know why I accentuate that double O. I do it all the time. <laughs> mood. <laughs> mood. <laughs> anyway, when you get into tone, I like to throw in mood, right? So certain colors project a certain mood, right? Whether it be calm, right? Calm like green, sea greens and turquoises and, you know, all that stuff. It's calming. And then as opposed to seeing red right red is like alert it's like you know angry or or sultry or you know red's my favorite color fyi if you didn't know <laughs> exactly tina v mood <laughs> um you gotta add mood <laughs> red's my favorite color by the way because red can depict so many things so many things right red could be love red could be war Red could be um, fire, um, you know, it could be sultry, it could be angry, it could be um, sweet. Like red just, hi, who said hi with the big old sticker? Shunte, Shunte's here. Hello, 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 Shunte. Tina, you're, uh, Tina Marie, yours is uh, gray. <coughs> Grays are nice. Gray can be a bunch of different things. Hello, 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 Shunte. How are you doing, sweetheart? So, um, anyway, and the last one being texture. Now, we did a whole thing on texture. And texture is the way, is what does it feel like, right? So, it doesn't always have to feel, like physically feel what it looks like. It doesn't have to, okay? But what does it look like it would feel like? All right. Anyway. That being said, that's my little definitions. So then we get to the point of the definition down here. So art that does not attempt, does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of reality. Instead, uses shapes, colors, forms, etc. <laughs> yeah, Teresa, wisdom hairs are gone. <laughs> okay, so reality uh, does not represent an actual depiction of reality, okay? It uses shapes, colors, forms, etc. All right, so now that you guys, blah, 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 you guys got the, um, the basics of what abstracts, um, right? <laughs> hello, 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 Debbie, you're in. You're in, baby, you're in like Flynn. Um, now that you know the basics, like, so if you're really into this stuff, Kandinsky, his stuff's epic, and of course, you've one of the main names everybody thinks of with abstract is uh, Pollock. Okay, his stuff was epic. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my stuff, and then we're gonna paint. All right, you wanna throw some paint on? Let's throw some paint on first. That was enough teachery, teachery stuff. Let's just throw some paint on here. Okay, so 
I'm going to go in with Big Boy, of course. And what you do, what I do, so that's another thing. I didn't want to do a how-to on abstract. I really didn't, but you guys asked me to. Um, I'm, such a, I'm such a glutton for punishment. Abstract's a very personal thing. And I don't think, I don't think that, um, okay, that's fine, Tammy. Uh, I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way to do them. Now, if you start reading and reading and reading, they pick them apart just like everything else in the world. So, I mean, I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way to do them. You can start them off any way you want. I'm going to go with, um... Let's see, what mood am I in? So basically, I just choose colors based on what mood I'm in. And uh, I'm going to go with um, red. I just said red's my favorite color. And somebody mentioned gray. So we can do gray. Okay, so I'm going to grab a whole dollop of red here. All right, and I'm just going to start slapping it on the canvas. I really do not have a plan. I don't. I don't know what I want to do, um, and, you know, I'm going to be painting with my elbow. I just put my elbow in my paint, and I'm going to grab some white just so, uh, because red's very see-through, and I'm just slapping it on there, if you notice. I'm just going back and forth. I'm just going back and forth, and, um, you know, again, layer one, layer one. Okay, and then, um, you know, I have, I worked from, I started in the center, and I'm working my way out. So that tells me that I want my focal point to be in the center. Now, you can have abstract art that doesn't have a focal point. You can have abstract art that, like, like the line, remember the line and the form brings you in a certain direction. So I'm thinking since I started in my center that's going to be basically where I want the eye to be drawn. So the rest that I put into this painting, I want it to direct towards the center. Okay. That being said, I'm going to grab, somebody mentioned gray. So let's do gray. I'm grabbing uh, black and white here. And I am just going to, uh, notice I'm doing crisscross. So crisscross is a way to add the texture, right? Notice I'm sticking and moving. I'm not over blending anything out, right? I'm keeping it very strong and bold. <laughs> Surprising. Hello. Eve's going to do it strong and bold, right? Hello. <laughs> we could have guessed that. <laughs> we could have guessed that one, right? <laughs> I just got paint on my leg. <laughs> it was very cold. All right, so I got the gray in here. All right, so doing crisscross to keep it looking like it has texture. Now, doesn't that look like it would be like rough to the touch? So we have texture going on. We have color going on. We have almost line, right? A certain direction, a certain path. We're kind of getting there. So these are all things you can do as you're playing with paint. We need another color. Let's do, um, I have no idea. Um, purple, you guys want purple? We'll stay in the same, now you don't have to stay in the same family. I'm going to show you paintings where I didn't stay in any family. <laughs> but we'll stay in the same family, right? So I'm, I'm staying in, I'm staying in the uh, same family like family of colors, right? Because purple contains uh, red, right? So we're kind of staying in the same spectrum. Now, I did not over mix. I did not over mix. See, look, see, right? See my brush, see? Has all the pretty colors on it. I'm doing that same crisscross motion that I did before. I'm sticking and moving, right? I'm not going over this stuff, right? I'm sticking and moving, that kind of thing going on. Okay, and uh, I'm just add, I'm just blocking in these colors. I'm real. What I'm really doing is I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling in, feeling around for the direction I want to take this in. All right, I'm kind of feeling around. Whoa, <laughs> did you guys see that? It just flew. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm kind of feeling around uh, for the direction I want to take this in. I have no idea yet. Um, I'm also getting paint everywhere. <laughs> you said purple, and I chose purple. That's really cool. Um, I don't know how that's happening. <laughs> Probably because I'm flicking it. I'm flicking, I'm flicking doing paint all over myself. That's what's happening. See? So, um, don't flicky do like this if you got a bunch of paint on your brush. There's, there's the lesson of the day. Because <laughs> you're going to get it all over. <laughs> all right. So, red, blue, white. All right. Let's not flicky do this time, Eve. Let's go nice and soft and simple here. All right. So, I'm going to fill this in, and uh, I don't know, it's looking a little muddy to me, and I want more pops of brightness, so I'm going to um, wipe off Big Boy. I'm going to wipe off Big Boy, alright, so I'm just wiping them off, I'm not really cleaning them, um, not really cleaning them, and um, so like Tina's into this, right, hello, hello, Jimmy, how you doing, sweetie? Jimmy Gale, um, Tina's into this. She's all like purple and now light blue and then red. And <laughs> yeah. See? So it becomes a very personal thing as you're playing with color and motion color around. All right. It becomes a very personal thing. Okay. So, hi, Irene. How you doing, lovey? And, and that's the thing. Okay, guys? So... On Tina's, she's going to put blue in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Look, look. Look, I got, look, see that? Look, see that blue paint right there? That big old blob, and I just got it on my hand. <laughs> I got a big old blob on my shirt, and I'm wondering why I'm getting it all over my arms and my hands, and I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, so I have it on my arm. I have it on my hand, right, and uh, I, don't, I don't know where, it, now it's on my arm right here, and I didn't know where it was coming from, and it's coming from the big old blob that's on my shirt, see that, see that piece right there, look, see that blob right there, that's where it's coming from, and I'm wondering why do I have paint all over my arm, I'm the abstract piece of artwork. <laughs> Look, ready? You guys ready? Look, I have paint here. I have paint here. I have paint here. <laughs> and all from having a big glob, a big glob on my shirt right there. This was having me get paint everywhere. Thank you for the stars, Debbie. Those of you that don't know, stars are enabled. That is for support for my nutty self. Um... They're a penny each. I also have Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. Okay, so um, I'll put those links in when I'm holding you guys. All right, so that being said, now that I, now that I figured out where this, all this paint was coming from on my body, all right, I'm going to wipe off Big Boy, and I'm actually going to go back into the red. So I'm going to grab uh, just red. And I'm going to grab uh, some white. And I'm going to put more red. And I'm going to put that in my corners. So, I like, one of the things that I like to do, and this is me personally, like I said, this is a very um, personal, um, all about you, all about your mood all about, uh, you know, what kind of effect are you going for, all about what colors do you gravitate towards, what tone do you want to do, um, you know, like, all of that is your own personal journey, okay, that's your own personal journey, that is not for me to tell you what's right or wrong uh, with abstract. Okay, that is your own personal journey. You pick whatever colors you want. You do whatever you want. 
And in the process, if you wind up getting paint pretty much all over yourself, <laughs> you can scoop it up with your finger and you can put it right on your painting. <laughs> all right. Eve's going to step away from the paint for a minute since I'm covered. Big boy's going in the water and it's show and tell time. Thank you so much, Joan, for the stars. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so you guys are coming out of your handy dandy holder. Hi. All right. You're coming out of your handy. Oh, actually, I should have kept you there. All right, hold. You're going back in. Back in. <laughs> Back in, right? I can leave it like that and it's pretty, right? All right, so you're going back in. Okay, one way to do abstract is geometrics. Geometric shapes. Geometric shapes, right? Triangles, squares, cubes, ovals, spheres, right? You have shape and you have form just doing geometrics. So these two things are an example. I did four. Two got stolen. These are the only two I have left. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. So this is my, all of this is my, my work, um, of geometrics. So I have this one. This one is called Sunlight in the City. And this is a geometric abstract. Okay. See all the different shapes and forms and sizes and circles and all of that kind of stuff you know there's spheres there's uh cubes there's all sorts of things in this thank you so much irene for the stars thank you so much okay so that is i called it sunlight in the city and i'll tell so if there's a story I'll, do you guys want to hear the story i'll tell you the stories do you want to hear the stories do you want to hear the stories with the artwork <laughs> Yeah, you got you guys want to hear the stories now. All right, if I if it gets to be too much, just tell just tell me to be quiet. Okay, so and I'm gonna do the uh, contest. Those of you that are here for the contest, I am going to. Um, oh my goodness! Look, 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 look. Um. So I don't know where that's coming from either. Sheesh! I am a piece of abstract artwork today. Okay, so this one. All right, sure, you guys are saying yes to the stories. All right, I'm, I'm about to change the shirt because I'm literally, I just got red paint on myself because there was a spot of red paint on the shirt. Um, he loves stories. Okay, so this one is called Sunlight in the City, and the reason I called it, it's upside down. Uh, I only know it's upside down because I put the words on the, the edge. All right, sometimes I don't know which way to turn them. Um, this one's called Sunlight in the City because... When you go into, uh, I am a hot mess tonight, Diane. You got that right. I am a hot mess. I got paint everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Hello, 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 Sharon. How are you tonight, sweetheart? So this one, this one is um, sunlight in the city because you ever go into the city, you ever go into the city and you're looking up at the skyscrapers with the shiny metal? And the sun rays are coming down and it creates those circles of light, like little orbs. That's what this reminded me of. That's why I called it sunlight in the city. It reminded me of the tall buildings in the city and then the sunlight coming down and it creates those orbs of light. So that was the inspiration behind this one. So the other geometric one I have... Like I said, two got stolen. We'll talk about that another time. Um, this is the other one I have. This one is more intricate, obviously, more detail. Um, definitely falls under geometric. Okay, now these are all hand drawn with um, pen and ink. So this just goes to show you I'm insane. <laughs> I'm verifiably insane. Anyway, <laughs> so this one, kaleidoscope. Yes, Joanne, yes, a kaleidoscope. I got you. I can I can read uh, text. I like the painting you're doing right now without doing any more to, do, to it. Yeah, right? I can stop there. We can stop there. That's all up to you guys. Um, so this one is called uh, Sun Catchers, 
And I called this one Sun Catchers because I was in a church and I was looking at the, the stained glass and the church was so intricate and gorgeous. So, um, this right here is what started it all. This right here, um, was all from the stained glass in the church, especially this piece right here. And that's is what brought about the whole thing. Okay, so this one is called Sun Catchers, but geometric abstract. Okay, here's my examples. Okay, so now I have another piece. This one is definitely one that is going to show you mood. It's going to show you texture. It's going to show you line. Um but it's there's absolutely no form and there's no shape the one makes you think of the 80s thank you so much for the stars brenda yeah that's the one really cool thing about abstracts is that you can turn around and everybody thinks what they want okay so this one right here uh is called uh blood in the river now you guys can see texture, right? I'm going to show you up close the texture on this bad boy. See all that texture? See it all? Okay, so there's actual texture on this. Um, all right, so we got texture down. Bam, one of the elements. We've got um, mood. Mood is one of the elements, right? So there's definitely a mood here. It is not happy. Um, we've got line. There's a definite path right here. Okay? Definite path right there. All right. So this is hitting some of the elements. This one I called Blood in the River. Um and I called it Blood in the River cuz as I was cuz sometimes the names come after sometimes. Sometimes the name comes beforehand. Uh lots of times it's after. Because I'm just in a zone and I'm just slapping paint. Um so, I call this one Blood in the River because, uh, you ever watch those war movies? And, kids, close your ears. Um, you ever watch those war movies? They probably know more than we do, actually. <laughs> True. Uh, and everyone's kind of hanging out at the riverbank, and then all of a sudden, like, the, the, uh, the soldiers and the blood and the stuff go floating down the river. I don't know. I must have seen a movie like that or something. Anyway, uh, imagination doesn't need any help. That's what it reminded me of. Right? That's what it reminded me of. So I called it Blood in the River. Okay? So there is that one. You don't love the one with all the texture. Yeah, see? So that's why I said abstract is very, very personal. Um, it's not for everybody. Some people, um, you know, well, no. It is for everybody. But everybody um, can do their own thing right it's very personal it is for everybody but it doesn't mean your piece is going to be for everybody because they might not be into that and that's okay you know what I mean all right so that being said this one is definitely has um, movement this one definitely has uh, movement it has line it has texture, it has color, okay? So, this one, no one's ever seen. You guys are seeing it for the first time. I don't think I ever posted this. I might have. I'm not really sure. I do not remember. This is the one I posted uh, for the event page. So, this one is definitely see movement. This one has the texture. See the texture? Okay, this one definitely has texture. This one definitely has movement. This one, um, you know, obviously color. I'm not going to show you anything that doesn't have any color. Okay, this one definitely has line. Okay, um, so there's definitely texture on this bad boy. It's kind of hard to see across the camera, but see, there's texture. Okay, so... Alright, bye Lisa V. Uh, this one I called Fools Rush In. 
So this one I call a fool's rush in because it's kind of like when you're uh, falling in love with somebody or you like somebody and there's a melted crayon, right? Um, so when you're falling in love with somebody or you like somebody and you get head over heels and you have all these emotions flooding, right? You get all these emotions, the butterflies and the excitement and the everything else. Um, no, nope, it's not poured. Um, everything else flooding in, right, and taking over, and you can't think straight anymore, so I called it Fool's Russian, because that's what it reminded me of, just a flow of emotion, just surging, All right, so that's that one, okay, back to painting, okay, so um, this one, this, so the one we're working on now, I'm going to give it, um, we're going to do those abstracts, um, we're going to do that, you know you've seen those abstracts that have the uh, line across and then the shapes up and down on either side of that line. And it's usually going through the middle and sometimes it's a triptych with uh, three paintings and it has that line across. That's what we're going to do. That's what uh, I decided as I was showing you guys stuff. So I definitely want the middle to be highlighted. And that saying that, I'm going to get clean white paint and I'm going to start adding some yellows. All right, because I definitely want the middle highlighted. All right, so I'm grabbing Big Boy. I'm grabbing, uh, making sure he's nice and clean. Swirl, tap, dab. And I'm going to turn around. I got, um, I have the, uh, I have two more to show you. They're the two that um, were in the international show. At Monmouth Museum, I got accepted into their international show. Um, yay me. Um, those are the other two I want to show you. The, actually, I got accepted with my abstract work. So um, those are the other two left to show you. I want to tell you about the contest. Absolutely 6,000%. Um, those of you that see people wondering about the contest, I'm going to post about the contest too. Um, but I want to, I, I did give you guys a little tidbit um friday so i'm gonna tell you again and then um so we're gonna do that tonight too okay guys and if you have any questions six thousand percent thanks joan i'm gonna show you guys the i i had a dig boy did i have to dig <laughs> that spare room is all torn apart because i had to dig them out because they're massive <laughs> but i got them out because i wanted to show you guys because uh, I figured that you'd really appreciate it since they were the ones that wound up in the international show. So I wanted to show you, uh, you know, what experts thought was um, good stuff. Okay? Anyway, so we're going to go back to this. All right. So I'm Swirl Tap Dap and Big Boy. All right. I'm going to try not to. I got paint all over me anyway. So what difference does it make at this point? So, big boy's nice and clean. I'm going to grab my white, and I'm going to grab um, just a dot of yellow. Just a dot, okay? And I know that I want the middle. I'm going to do that line in the middle for that focal point. So, I'm going to go up and down. Like a, um, what's that? Like the heart reading thing, an EKG? Like an EKG? I'm going to go up and down with my yellow. Up and down, up and down. All right. Now, I am, uh, you know, one cool thing is if you notice, I'm not doing anything exacta, exacta. All right. Now, some parts were still wet. I'm not mad at that. So they're blending in. They're coming through the, uh, the background here. Not mad at that at all. All right, and I'm doing the yellow and the white. A lot of white, a little bit of yellow. A lot of white, a little bit of yellow, right? Because I want a color block. And now I'm doing really big sweeping motions, right? I'm doing really big sweeping motions, right? And this is what I said with abstract. Everybody has their own mood you know some of you probably think I'm killing this thing that it was good just the way it was <laughs> and that's okay that's what I said it's a very 
personal thing, you know, it's a very like, just getting connected with your inner creativity, going in the zone, slapping color around, um, doing sheeps, doing um, color, doing line, doing scribble, doing splatter, doing whatever you guys want to do. That is what you get to do with an abstract. You don't have to make it anything. Now, some people say like Picasso was abstract. Because you see, cubism falls under the abstract heading. See, like everybody can get very philosophical and very like technical. And then you go into all these different facets. Um, like impressionism is a form of abstract. But, see, I'm, I'm a purist. I don't think, uh, my opinion is that abstract, coffee time, coffee talk with Eve. <laughs> it's coffee talk with Eve. Um, my opinion is that um, it, it shouldn't look like anything. Right? Absolutely, like, shouldn't look like anything we're familiar with. Uh, my opinion is if it starts to look like a person or look like a um, building or look like, like for me, I think um, like if those are more defined and the artist is definitely trying to say this is a building to the viewer, I think that um, that's when it becomes not abstract anymore. Now, everyone's going to have different opinions about that. I think sometimes abstract is used as an excuse. <laughs> because somebody will paint something and it looks nothing like what they were trying to paint. And they're going to be like, this is my abstract version of a rose. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a little bit snobby when it comes to uh, using the word abstract and people using that word to describe their work. Am I wrong? I don't know. Am I right? I don't know. It's my opinion. Like I said, you guys form your own opinions on what you think is abstract, what's not abstract. It's all up to you, really. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, art is all an impression it makes upon people, right? It's something that impresses upon you, um, you know, makes you feel a certain sort of way connects with some sort of mood or connects with some sort of, um, you know, feeling or maybe something that happened. You know what I mean? So it's all very personal. It really is. Hi, Becky. Hello, 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 sweetheart. So, you know, who am I to say what's what? But, I mean, I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> but again, you know, it's all up to, like I said, if you guys uh, look in the abstract, you'll go into a whole other world. And I have paintings that people will say are abstract. I don't think they're abstract, but I think they're Impressionism or Cubism or something along those lines. I don't think they're abstract. Okay, so I'm going to twirl tap that big boy because I want this bright and in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to grab uh, just yellow now and I'm going to go over this and I'm not going to stay just on my white All right, I'm going to go over this and add areas of just the yellow add areas of just the yellow All right because we're doing a definitive line across this work okay so I'm going to add areas of just yellow now to make it really bright and to make it even brighter I'm going to go back into my original color of red right and I'm going to throw in um, you'll go back and watch okay Becky it's a lot of just me talking <laughs> I'm going to go back into uh, red and I'm going to put in these red markings in here okay so 
obviously my color choice is giving a mood to this, right? It's uh, bright. It's kind of in your face. It's um, very dramatic, right? I don't think there's anything really serene about any of this. Um, and that's okay because that's what I was going for. Right? So it all depends. It's all up to you. What are you going for? What are you trying to, what are you trying to show? Or what are you trying? Lots of times I'll do an abstract because I'm just trying to work something out. I'm trying to get something out of my, out of my system or out of my psyche, you know, like sometimes it, it's uh, very meditative because you can turn around and uh, I'm just grabbing um, this dirty white and blue, if you're wondering what I'm doing. You can turn around and, uh, you know, zone out and just do all cool little things. Now I'm doing the purple. You can just zone out and do all these cool little things. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because they're, you know, to me, abstract shouldn't have any rules. Um, I don't think it should have any rules. Like I said, people get very, um, sometimes, sometimes. Um, so I store all my leftover paint. I store all my leftover paint in a container, right? So when I'm done with you guys, um, I take the... It looks like music sound levels, right, Joan? Yeah, so everyone's going to start seeing different things. Um, I take my leftover paint and I put it in a container. So when I do um, an in-person paint party, I'm cleaning off everybody's palette and scooping the paint into a container. So a lot of times, my abstract work starts with me just scooping paint out of this thing. So all the colors are in here, and I just start slapping it on a canvas, and then I see where it takes me. Um, but your brain, that is, Tina B, excellent point, excellent, excellent point. So your brain wants to make it into something, right? That is an excellent point, sweetie. So that is probably one of the hardest things. For people is that to keep it abstract, right? To keep, I ran out of red. I'm going to get red. Um, to keep it not being something. Okay? Because your brain wants to automatically try to turn it into, like, people do that naturally. We want to be able to identify. Okay? So, <laughs> thank you for your stickers, uh, Shanti. They're great. Um, we want to identify we want to put something in a little box and say this is this that's what we like to do as human beings we like to turn around and make everything to where we can label it put it in a happy little place and now we understand it because we labeled it and we do that right we do that for personal understanding for, you know, making things seem a little more clear, making things seem a little more controlled, right? We don't like ambiguity. We don't like things that are obscure. We don't like things that are, um, you know, stuff that you can't fit into a little box and label and identify, right? Makes us, makes a lot of people uncomfortable, Right? Like, you ever watch a scary movie and they don't show you what's doing all the scary things? It makes it even scarier because you don't know what it is. And then your imagination takes over and it could be um, all sorts of stuff. So, you know, you got to be careful of those things. So, what I say is that if you're trying to make it into something and you really don't want to, you just, that's just your instinct taking over it needs to make sense right Irene that's what a lot of people do and that's why when a lot of people look at an abstract painting they'll be like oh I see this or I see that or this is what I see. and that's why I am um... but everybody sees something different so 
that's fine too. You know what I mean? Um, so if you're trying not to make it look like something, but your instinct is turning it into something, um, the only thing I could tell you is just scribble through it. Just, just scribble it out. If you wind up painting something and you're trying to make it a certain, certain way and you want it to be this, you can scribble it out. Or you might like doing the abstracts that are the uh, geometrics, you know what I mean? You make, um, Shunti, uh, I think you're talking in another language um, because it's coming in all weird, your comments. Um, so I have no idea what you're trying to say. Um, might be lost in translation. Thank you so much for the stars, Robin. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Each star is a penny, just an FYI. I also have PayPal, which I think the link is featured, Venmo, and Cash App. Okay, so, right, it's a very, um, so my uh, recommendation, you know, maybe, maybe um, you should do abstracts that are the geometrics. Because the geometrics are um, making shapes, right? They're making shapes. So maybe that's more of your speed. So thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, thank you, love. Um, red paint. I'm just grabbing red paint. That's all I'm doing. And I'm putting red. Now, they said... Um, What's that? Gestural movements. Um, so here, we'll do some flicky-doos because Jill is here. Let's do some flicky-doos from the bottom. Flicky-doo, flicky-doo. I flicky-doo and honey. Ready? Flicky-doo. Flick, 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 flick. Um, now, when I do a painting, I like to bring people's eye right off of the canvas. I like that. I like for them to look at a painting and then they could actually see it extending past the painting in their own eye. Flicky doos, Jill, just for you. Um, I like to do that. I, and you guys know that. I always paint something on the edge. I always put a piece of something on the edge. I, uh, you know, so this way the eye extends the picture past the actual picture. So that's what I like to do. So, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy, and we're going to go back into our yellow and white again. All right, so I'm grabbing the white, I'm grabbing the yellow, and I'm going to put this back in. All right, just moving up and down. Okay, because I want it to be nice and bright. Yellow and white. Yellow and white, putting in the bright parts again. That's all I'm doing. Right? Here, there, not everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to do the uh, lines. And I'm going to show you how to do, like, the splatter and the scribble. And all of those good things. Alright, so we're going to put this on here. And then we're going to take another field trip. I'm going to show you. I'm going to uh, talk about the contest. Okay, because some of you want to hear about the contest. You haven't heard about it yet. So I want to talk about the contest. And we're going to let this dry. Did you post the sign across the picture that says go to PayPal? Yes. Did not get my live notice. Have to get the replay. Oh, that's okay, Carol. Jill sees the flicky dudes. Britain saying hi. Uh, yes, there is a PayPal link posted, Sue. There's a PayPal link posted. It asked me to post the link, and um, it's posted. There you go, Tina B. Yeah, sometimes I don't know how to, like, what's on your side, I don't see. So it's very hard for me to kind of navigate you through some things because I don't see what you guys see. So 
and Tina B's an excellent helper with that. And some of you, some, a lot of you, I see helping each other, and I love that. That's why we're family. So if you ever have a question along the lines of that, like star, I have a thread, um, stars or a link or anything along those lines, um, ask each other because I'm useless. <laughs> When it comes to your side of things. Okay, so we're, I'm going to talk about the contest. Um, you're going to go on a field trip for that. And I want to talk about, uh, I'm going to do roll call. All right. So, roll call. Yeah, Jinty's not here. I'm sure she's okay. Uh, we got Diane, Darlene, Kelly, Tina B, Amanda, Savannah, Becky, Lisa B, Florence, Rochelle, Lori, Marsha, Brenda, Teresa, Joanne, Joan, Carolyn, Susan, Tammy, Judy, W Max here, Kimberly, Becky, Pamela, Jill, Britton, Sharon, Irene, Jimmy Gale, Debbie, Shunti, Tina Marie, and Sue is here. Sue's hanging out with us tonight. So um, if I missed you. Uh, let me know. I try to get everybody. <coughs> so, Friday's painting is the cocktail. The background of the cocktail is this. Mm -mm. Wrong. The background of the cocktail isn't that. The background of the painting coming up is this. My bad. This is not the background for the cocktail. The cocktail background's uh, easy. This is for the painting that's coming up the next Friday. So, um, this Friday is the cocktail. Next Friday um, is this one. Next Friday is this one. See the background? <laughs> so when I muck up my painting now, I know how to turn it into abstract, scribble, flicky do, big splash, woohoo. <laughs> exactly, Amanda, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excellent. I love it. I like it. All right, so this is the Friday afterwards. Some of you were looking for graphic and um, abstract, so notice the background. Notice what I'm doing. Okay, so. And lots of dots and circles and flowers. So that is the, um, not this Friday, next Friday. I will post the event soon. Okay, the contest. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I told you my spare room's a mess, right? I had to, like, navigate to get that. Okay, so the contest, the prize, right? Let's get to the most important thing. The prize is one of my brush sets, okay? So the brush set, hi, Tina M. How you doing, sweetheart? Um, the brush set, thank you, Jimmy Gale, has every brush in it that I've used for every single video. So if you're watching my videos... I've only used these brushes from the beginning. You will not need another brush to do any one of my videos. The only time that I um, go off of doing one of these is in a how-to, I might show another type of brush or I might use a palette knife during my how-tos. But the paint party videos, the, all the Friday night videos, this is it. This is all I use. Okay, so it has Big Boy, it has the three fluffies. It has mini me in here. It has tiny in here. It has two nifties. It's eight brushes. Okay. You're going to get a cool little pouch to store them in. And you're going to get how to care for your brushes, all the instructions so they last you as long as mine have lasted me for. Um, like I said, uh, Big Boy and the Fluffies are going on seven six, seven years of paint party um, business, and they're still kicking. 
How can you keep them clean? Joanne, um, you, you get the instructions on how to clean them. You get the instructions on how to clean them and how to take care of them. And um, there's, I don't know what video I did it in. I did a video where I show you how to clean and do the brushes. Okay, so that's the prize. <laughs> what, what, what? Woohoo! New brushes. You try to purchase a set earlier. Darlene. Okay. Private message me, hon. Uh, you're going to have to private. <laughs> You're welcome. You're going to have to private message me anyway, uh, so I can get the address to do shipping. So, on the top of my page, it says message. Hit that button. Okay? All right. Now, this is how I'm going to do the prize. Okay? So, this is how you enter. All right? Anyone you did earlier. Okay. If it was right before uh, doing the video, I was probably playing with my um, make em ups So, I didn't see it yet. I'll get there, okay? Thank you so much. Um, so, this is how, I'm, how you enter, okay? So, entering, you're going to turn around and for the month of September, anyone that sends me support via stars, via cash app, via PayPal, via Venmo, three dollar minimum whoever sends me support via those uh, four things three dollar minimum because you're gonna get mr. nifties you have to hit the send message on the top of my now I'm gonna do a post on this too so no worries there if you miss something you're gonna have to hit the send message on the top of my page and message me your address now my process just for doing the nifties, that is how I send out the nifties. I screenshot your address, it's saved in my photos, and then when I go to do my nifties project, mailing out the nifties, I go through the screenshots and then I delete them. So I delete them and um, I don't use them ever again. Uh, t honestly, some people are like, uh, but no, I'm not going to keep your address. I'm just not going to do it. It's your personal address. I'm not doing it. I'm not sending you anything else other than a nifty, and then it's gone. Okay. That being said, the more you, not the more money you donate, but the more you do a donation of $3.00, the more entries you'll get. So every single time you send me support, $3 or more, even though you already sent my ad your address to me once, you're going to do it again. So every time you send me support in the month of September, you're going to write the um, amount. You're going to write what you used, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, or Stars, and you're going to write your address every single time you send me support in the month of September. You're going to send me a message from the button that's on the top of my page with that information. I am going to screenshot it. Now, all of those screenshots are going to be in my phone. When I go to do my nifties, this is what I have, all right? So I have all of these gift cards, right? I have, everybody gets a little thank you note and a card and all of that happy stuff. So I have all these types of cards, right? And all of these cards, I intermingle them, so I grab a different design every time I'm grabbing a card for somebody, and I put them all, I put them all, in a box okay so then when I read the screenshot this is how it's going to get picked so that's why I'm showing you this so when I read the screenshot I go in this box and I pick a card out and I fill it out for that screenshot okay so you're gonna have the screenshots in my phone I'm gonna grab a card I'm gonna fill it out you're gonna get a mr. nifty okay 
Now, what I'm going to do is I only have one of these left. One purple card left. That's all I have. So, I'm going to put this... Usually these are in envelopes, so I can't see what they look like. So, I'm going to put this in the box with the cards for when I pull it for the screenshot. So when I pull these cards out, they're usually all in envelopes, so you can't see what any of them are. Um, when I pull a card for the screenshot, if I'm working on your screenshot and I pull this card, you win. Simple as that. So for the month of September, every time you send support, number one, thank you so much. Amount, how you sent it, address, every single time. I'm going to screenshot it. When I do the project of sending nifties out at the end of September, and I read your screenshot, and I'm yanking cards out to send out the nifties at the end of September, if I'm on your name, and I pull the purple card, you win. Now, I pull from the front, I pull from the back, I pull from the middle. Um, nobody's getting nifty September. I am going to bank all of the screenshots till the end of the month. And I'm going to do it as one big project. So, the more times you donate, the more screenshots I will have of you. And the bigger the chance is for you to... get the purple card when I get to your name. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, I'm definitely going to do a post about it. I'll probably do a mini vid about it just to, um, you know, so you guys definitely have the steps you have to take and what you have to press where um, all for you. It's for the month of September. So for $3, you get entered into winning the... 25 it's 29 with shipping and handling brush set to win it for free <laughs> i think it's exciting i think it's kind of cool um you guys send me support a lot of you send me support so much and i really really appreciate it every single time and i just wanted to give something back uh to all of you that have been doing the support and sending me support so because i love you all you all wore my heart you guys really do keep the lights on you allow me to be able to do this for everyone and um i wanted to do something special so that's what we're doing okay um that's how it's going down like i said we're going to turn around and um i will make a post about it I might do a little video explaining it again once, you know, I can minimize the language to explain it, get it a little more precise, and uh, you guys are going to be all set. So, since I have you in my hand, I want to show you the international works, and then we're going to finish up the abstract we were working on. If you have any questions about abstract, contest, my artwork, 6,000%, ask me in the comments, and... Um, if you're watching the replay, you could always message me with a question, and I will get to you. Absolutely. Okay. So, the first painting that was ever um, accepted into... I have to grab it. It's not in good light over here. It's massive. It's... Uh, I think it's a 24 by 48. How big is this sucker? It is... Oh, I was right. It's 48 by 24. All right. I think if I lean it here, you guys can see all the colors in it. If I put, Yeah, this is good. All right. I'm going to put it up on my counter. All right. So it's a 24 by 48. And this was the one that got accepted into the international show. This is the first one that got accepted into one of the... You bought a set of brushes. They're really good and have all the brushes that you use. Thank you so much, Sue. You did. Excellent. 6,000%. Um, thank you, Tina B., for explaining cleaning. I really appreciate that. Um, somebody sent me. People who donate get. Yes, you're going to get nifties across the board. Um, you're going to get. I'm going to send out nifties to everybody. If. Um, 
if you donate like six times and you don't want 12 nifties, just leave a note. I'm good on nifties. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to send nifties to everybody who donates every single time they donate. Um, but if you don't want, if you're good, you don't want all that, um, then just, uh, you know, let me know I'm good on nifties and we'll be all set. Um, okay, so this one, here it is. I had to turn you guys sideways. Oh, I can't turn the phone sideways. All right, I have to take a step back. It's large. That's my whole counter, FYI. So this one is a 24 by 48. I will bring you in closer. It got accepted into the Monmouth University uh, International Gallery Show. And um, it has a lot of qualities that we've been talking about the whole video about abstract work. Okay? So I'm going to bring you in. It, um, I'll tell you the story, and then I'll bring you in closer. Um, it's called uh, the Gap Synaptic. And the reason I called it the Gap Synaptic is because I... Um, I'm bipolar, and the synaptic gap is where the signals in your brain shoot across for the different sensors, okay? So then you have the sensors, you have the sensors on uh, either side of this synaptic gap that absorb the signals. So being bipolar, some of my signals don't get absorbed, or they get absorbed too much or not enough. So, my synaptic gap is a bunch of symbols or signals <laughs> just bouncing around in there. So, I call this the gap synaptic. That is why, um, because mine don't always get absorbed properly. And uh, I figured, well, if they're not getting absorbed, they're just zinging around up in there. I don't know what they're doing. And... Um, so I'm going to give you the close-up now, okay? All right, I can't turn the phone. All right, so it's 20, it's 24 by 48. And I'm going to pan from one side to the other. So you can see movement. You can see color. You can see, um, what did they call them? Those just marks and splashes and whatnot. Okay, um, you can see line. You can see direction. You can see splatter. This painting has like everything in it. All right. So that was accepted. That was the first one that it was accepted. Okay. So the next one is even bigger. I told my rooms tore apart. <laughs> Because <laughs> these things are massive. The next one's even bigger. Um, it is. What is it? Did I write? Did I write? I better. Have wrote, it's a 48 by 36. Okay. So it is three feet. It's three feet by uh, four feet. Okay. So can I get it up on the counter? <sighs> that way you guys can really see it. I can. Okay. So, and I'm going like all the way across my kitchen so you guys can uh, see the whole thing. The light's not too great, but that's okay. All right. So this is the second one that got accepted. There's a lot of glare coming off of it. Um, here, let me put it back where it was on the floor. Because this one has a, a gloss coat on it. So it's picking up a lot of glare. I'm just going to go down on the floor, and Butter's just probably going to come over. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit better, I think. Oh, let me move back a little bit. Okay, so this one is a 36 by 48, and this was the second one. Um, yeah, 3 feet by 4 feet. This is the second one that got accepted um, when I did a show at a different time. So, same show, got accepted. It looked really cool. It had its own wall and everything. Um, so this one is called Breakthrough. Uh, it's called Breakthrough because 
the whole story behind it is that people uh, wind up, some people put on a mask or have a facade and they like to have it to where they look like they're nice and calm and serene and everything, everything's all good here, you know, us super women, we love to say how everything's all good, I'm good, I'm good, meanwhile, you're not good, um, so the pops of orange and red and black are breaking through because that's like the only time, you know, it, you can only cover that stuff up for so long, if you don't share it or talk about it or, um, wind up, you know, confiding in somebody about what's really going on, it's going to break through and break through your surface of being calm. So that's why this one is called Breakthrough. Because it is breaking through the calm exterior. All right, I'll give you the close up. All right, so walking in. All right. So, from the one set side to the other, all right, and I'll, I'll bring it close up so you can see the detail, see? So, those are the orange parts, okay, and there is texture in here. Yep, some people say they see faces, some people say they see um, all different things. So, this is one end to the other. And there you go. So that, let me uh, put it up on the counter and I'll show it to you in a different light. You would hang that in your home? <laughs> Thanks, Donna. <laughs> um, so that, I like the colorful one, but the second one would make a good living room piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people, um, a lot of people like this one. Um, I'll give you a close-up of the texture and the colors. You see faces? Yeah. A lot of people see fa a lot of people see faces in the first one. Um, some people think this is water with like the koi fish. Some people see that. Um, but you can see when you look at it up close, it's all different colors and markings. Mind you, the ocean, yeah, a lot of people get, I get the ocean a lot. Uh, a lot of people love the, uh, the turquoise. So they, they see it as a very calming picture. Um, they think it's something that's, um, serene. Um, for me... It was about the bits underneath coming through. So I didn't paint it to be a calming picture, but the colors and the mood, a lot of people see it as a calming picture. So, but we were talking about abstract. Tonight's how to abstract. So these are two examples of abstract paintings where the experts. Um, thought that they were cool and um, contained what they feel is a um, good represent you saw the fish yeah see a lot of people see a lot of different things in there to me it's like Niagara Falls right so a lot of people see water um, because it's all down, going down, like the falls. A lot of people see the pond with the fish. Um, a lot of people see faces in the first one. Um, I know, I'll let you guys look at the first one again. Um, gives a calming v vibe, but yeah, so the... Yeah, so that's, that's what I want you to take away from this how-to is that um, abstract, right? Two totally different modes going on, right? Look at that one, and then look at that one, right? Two totally different tones, moods, colors, 
right? And everybody is catching a different vibe or a different mood from each one. Mood. <laughs> so see this one? See the splashes? Right? The drips. Okay, so all of those kind of things, you know, two different moods, two different vibes, but how to abstract, see the drips in here, right, the smushing, we got smushing, is there flicky doos for Jill, I don't know, this little piece looks like a little alien, doesn't he, or he looks like that guy from Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie, does that little piece look like Oogie Boogie right there, yeah, yeah, so lots of different things. Like, even you guys in this conversation are seeing totally different things. Um, I'm trying to see if there's flicky do. Oh, here's flicky do, honey. There's some flicky do right there. So, uh, yeah, two different modes, two different vibes, two different things going on. I just want to give you, you know, show you where abstract can bring you and what you can do with it and how you can have fun with it and don't be scared you know don't be scared it is a mood it is a vibe it is um something that is very uh personal okay so it's all those types of things so i want to show you i'm going to put the painting down off of my counter in case i flick well if i flick paint on it oh that's another great thing about abstract paintings is that if you uh <laughs> if you wind up knocking them around a bit or getting paint on them where you didn't want it, it's all good. <laughs> the second one is like breaking through the ice. Yeah, some people see ice. Yeah, lots of different modes with that. Okay, that being said, let's finish up this one. Um, if you guys had, thank you so much, my little uh, show and tell. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't show my pieces very often. Like I said, they're buried. <laughs> you saw several aliens, right? So you get aliens, you get all sorts of stuff. Yeah, everybody sees something different. That's And that's why I always, I don't tell the story. I have other pieces that are more like fantasy art. And they have like figures in them and little like, demon guys and stuff, um, but I don't, you're welcome, thank you, uh, I don't tell the story, because, um, I want other people to see what they see first, good night, Darlene, um, so, that's, you know, so I don't always tell the story right away, okay, I'm grabbing a clean big boy, and I'm grabbing my black paint, All right, so we're gonna do some lines, we're gonna do some lines, okay, so I'm gonna hold big boy back here, and I'm just going to pull across. Okay. And uh, I'm going to move you guys back a little bit so you can see from one end to the other. So I just pulled across. And now I'm going to do a little ziggy zag through this. Okay. So you can do a line and you can do like little ziggy zags. I'm going to do a little ziggy zag through this line. All right. Maybe one go higher. Okay. One go lower. You guys have seen these paintings. You guys have seen these paintings. Um, you've seen these abstract paintings before with the, um, you know, the line in the middle and all these things happening with the line in the middle. So I'm going to do a little ziggy zag action. Every one of your classes is better than the last. Well, thank you, Jill. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Well, don't set the bar too high for me. I might not reach it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate that. All right. So uh, now I'm putting, um, yeah, right? My heartbeat. Uh, I've got black on here, and I'm going to do like a right there. Let's do one here. Let's do one there. Um, I like to go off the canvas, so let's do one there. Let's do one right there. Do one there. Let's do one here. Okay, and I'm gonna grab uh, white, and I'm gonna grab red, and I'm gonna grab some blue and do a little dab dab. And let's do uh, one here, one here, one there, one up here, 
one here, there, I don't know, down here, right? So we can do those. Um, you want to do uh, squiggles. Now, I don't, I don't um, do I have something to show you? I don't think I do. A lot of people, when they do this, they get a, a squeeze tube, like, um, you ever go uh, like a ketchup or mustard bottle that's really long and has the pointy tip? They'll put um, loose paint in there. They'll either mix it with like a, um, a medium to get it really, really loose, or you can mix it with a little bit of water and have it like squirtable. So lots of times when you see those little squirty things, people are um, using a bo the bottle to make those. Right, but you can add a squigglies and swirly doos and whatever you want. Um, so I'm gonna hold my brush back here because I don't want that much control. And uh, I don't know. Let's um, right. Let's just do a squirly do. There it is. All right, and let's do one over here. Let's do one up here. Like I like to bring the eye all over the painting. I don't like it going like in one direction like I fight the form and direction every time I do an abstract if you notice the two big paintings I showed you um, there's not one focal point to it there's movement to it but there's not like one piece that you focus on your eye dances so that's something I do I don't like having a direction I don't like having a folk like one of my pieces I don't think I have it do I have it it's called uh, everywhere or nowhere because it literally does not have a focal point it doesn't have a direction it doesn't have a focal point it doesn't have any of that so I can do some dashes here all right do all sorts of little things like that little squiggles little pieces Okay, whatever's on my brush. I don't know what's on my brush. All right, then I'm going to grab my uh, black paint again. And we'll do our line. Right, I did, I did dashes for the line this time. So I'm doing dashes through this and smudging and smearing the paint. Okay, I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush. And I'm going to grab my lighter colors. Oh, that sounds delicious, Carolyn. I love um, fresh sauce. Okay, so I'm going to grab my lighter colors now. So I'm going to grab my white, and I'm going to grab my yellow. And I'm not going to press too hard because I want these to pop. All right, so, and I don't want them to get uh, too muddy. Like, in a perfect world, I'd wait for this to dry. So now I'm just putting in uh, pieces of the um, the yellow and the white so abstract just do you baby there's no wrong or right it does have those different little things I said in the beginning uh, line form shape direction uh, gestures uh, whatever you guys want to turn around and make it into, and who was it Amanda who said, well, if you mess up one of your paintings, you can make it into an abstract, 6,000%. 6,000%, you can do that. Um, so dabs, dashes, lines, uh, flickies, whatever your little heart desires. And I try to just look to see, now that I'm at this point, I would look to see where I think I should have one color or another color more of to make your eye dance. Like I said, I like when they, I like when your eye dance looks like birds on a telephone or electric line. Right, yeah. So I like my abstracts, I like when your eye dances around, if you could tell. Some like a very defined, this is where I want people to look, this is where they're going to look right this is what they're going to do right you create that movement with your brush strokes and have your brush strokes go a certain direction or a certain way like on the big one you um i think it was carolyn who said she saw a waterfall because all of my brush strokes were going down okay so you can turn around and create movement with your brush strokes going down um so it's all up to you i would turn around i would let this dry i'd look at it again 
and I would just see like maybe I need another color here or maybe some more there uh, right here there 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 right so um, a lot of you like would probably stop before I do <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you know how I'm always telling you guys to stop painting? <laughs> well, when I do an abstract, I need to be told to stop painting. <laughs> because I always take it <laughs> to the next level. <laughs> I can never stop, right? Like, some of you were probably like, ah, stop, stop. <laughs> nah, we're not stopping. But, uh, anyway... I hope this helps you. I hope you uh, learned a lot. Thank you so much. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Nope. I like when the eye dances. So, and the way that I get that is I put, I kind of like scatter the colors. So your eye hits here, 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 you know, and some of you like the direction, but like I said, it's all up to you guys. It's all whatever you want to create and how you want to create it and you know you can do the geometric style you can do the cubism with the faces um there is um i did a video how to do a picasso selfie um how to create a selfie of yourself picasso style um look so on my youtube it's called a picasso selfie and um, I teach you how to do a uh, Picasso style selfie. So if you like this sort of thing and you like uh, quirky and kooky and different, um, YouTube has the video of how to do a Picasso selfie. So you can make a selfie of yourself in Picasso style. I'm trying to show myself in the painting at the same time. It just looks silly. Okay, there it is. Okay, so if you like this sort of thing, it's on the YouTube, the um, the video on how to paint that. Okay, so you can make a, um, you can do it in cubism. Now, some people see cubism as a um, form of abstract. I don't know. I don't know. That's all up to you. So, uh, not your thing, right? Some people love it. Some people are like, eh. That's all right. So, anyway, there's our abstract for the evening. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned lots of stuff. I hope you have a better understanding um, of where I'm coming from, what I do. You love Picasso. Wish I could do that. Yeah, Donna, it's on my YouTube. It's called Picasso Selfie. I'll share it. I'll share it as a blast from the past. Okay, Friday is cocktail. Uh, next Friday is the, um, the background and, um, the flower pattern, the graphic, okay? So, abstract background and graphic flowers is the Friday after that. So much fun, right? And, uh, thank you guys so much for the support and the tips. Remember, September 1st, so don't tip me tonight. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, hit the wrong button. Um, anyway, here's my links. I'll put those in here. The PayPal link is um, featured. The stars link is on top. Um, Cash app, ba bam, and Venmo. What am I hitting? That's not it. Here it is. Okay, and uh, let's see. So, Cash App, there's that one, and uh, Venmo is that one. If you sent me a message before, I will answer you when I get off screen. I got to make a few videos, um, so I'm going to take care of that. And I cannot find my Venmo link. It's here somewhere. There it is. Bam, bam. Okay, guys, all of, all of, all of my replays are on YouTube. Let me share that one. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Um, you know, we're going to do our cocktail on Friday and we're going to do our, uh, our, uh,
graphic flowers uh, the following Friday. And then I have one that's on the easel right now. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, that's coming up. And if there's anything you want to see, if there's a how-to, if there's something you want to learn or see or do, somebody asked me about horses. I posted that um, tabletop tidbit for them, the little video. Um, if, you know, let me know, guys. Let me know. If I already taught it or I already did a video for it, I will, I will find the video for you. So, 6,000%. So, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I have to put my spare room back in order. Because <laughs> I tore it apart. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about abstract. Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Our uh, roll call list is share, sharing is caring, guys. Those of you, I get it. I get it. That's why the contest is only three bucks. I get it. Hitting that share button, you guys are amazing. Some of you are epic with hitting that share button. So, uh, another fabulous How To Tuesday. Thank you, Tina V. Have a great night, Irene. Um, this is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, like I said, message me if you ever have any questions, concerns, something you want to see, something you're trying to do. And I will help you the best that I can. And you guys keep the lights on. You really do. And you all warm my heart. 6,000%. So, I hope you had fun with me tonight. I'm going to see you guys on Friday. All right? So, mm, good things. Have fun and go create, fam. Okay? Mm, good night.